Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. A new version of Linux Mint is typically released around every six months and aligns with Ubuntu's LTS or long-term support releases. It usually comes with new features and improvements, but I would say that there is nothing wrong with sticking with the release you already have. In fact, you could skip many releases and stick with the version that works for you, if you are happy with it. If you have now decided it's time to upgrade from Linux Mint 22.1 Xia to Linux Mint 22.2 Zera, this video will take you step by step through the upgrade process. This upgrade is a minor release upgrade and it can be performed through an in-place upgrade on an existing system. And in this case, we are on a Linux Mint 22.1 system with a Cinnamon desktop. This is opposite of a major release upgrade, for example, from Linux Mint 21.3 Virginia to Linux Mint 22 Wilma. If you need help with a major upgrade, there is a link in the description of this video for your convenience. The system we are going to upgrade is, as mentioned, Linux Mint 22.1, codenamed Xia, with the default Cinnamon desktop based on Cinnamon version 6.4.6. .6. The Linux kernel is at version 6.8.0-51. I have tested this upgrade procedure also on Linux Mint with XFCE, and that also works fine. If you are running the upgrade on a laptop, make sure it is connected to the mains power, because the last thing you would need is running out of battery during the upgrade. It's always a good idea to upgrade to the latest and greatest before we attempt to upgrade the actual Linux Mint operating system. To do this, from the menu, click Administration and then Update Manager. This will list all of the packages that have a newer version available in the Linux Mint repositories. And of course, the list on my screen will be different from your list. Click Install Updates and if needed, click OK in the dialog that lists the packages that will be installed. Now the required packages will be downloaded and installed. If a reboot is required, the system will inform you about this. Like now, so let me reboot the system. After the reboot, double check if you are fully updated by opening the update manager once again. It should display a big check mark and the text your system is up to date. Now this step is optional, but at this point consider making a time shift snapshot or back up your data or system otherwise to revert back to in case of issues. This way you can restore specific files after the upgrade when you need to. The snapshot is now your fallback in case of issues during the upgrade. And as stated, this is fully optional, but I wanted to mention it nonetheless. I will leave a link on screen and in the description to an earlier upgrade video where this is shown in detail. Now that we have the snapshot, it is time to progress with the actual upgrade. Go back to the update manager and it should now show the big check mark and the message that your system is up to date. Click on edit in the toolbar and there should be an option upgrade to Linux Mint 22.2 Zera selected. The upgrade wizard will now start where we simply have to follow the steps. Click next. And if you are interested, you can read the release notes. I will skip that for now, so next again. I am, however, interested in the new features, so let me click the link. You can read all about the new features in detail, but I want to draw your attention to two things. The first one is thing width. There are a couple of videos on the channel about how to get fingerprint scanning to work with Linux Mint, and this appears to be a game changer. Linux Mint 22.2 features a brand new app called Fingwit that is dedicated to fingerprint authentication. Fingwit detects if your computer has a fingerprint reader and lets you record your fingerprints and can configure your system to use fingerprint authentication for the screensaver, sudo commands, and applications that require administrative access. This is certainly a welcome addition. The second one is the long-term support or LTS strategy. This version is going to receive security updates until 2029 and until 2026 future versions of Linux Mint will use the same package base 
as this 22.2 version. This should mean that the upgrade process I'm showing you today will be the same for future versions, so the option in the edit toolbar will change with its release. Also good news is that until 2026, the development team will be fully focused on this version of the base. All in all, after an upgrade to 22.2, you should be fine for years to come. Return to the upgrade wizard and click next. Now confirm that you understand the risk and click apply. Type your administrative password and the required packages will now be downloaded and installed. Outdated packages will be removed. You can study more details by clicking on details. So while you let this go through its motions, maybe meanwhile this is a good time to get some coffee. Once done, the smiley face with eyesight problems informs us that the operating system was successfully upgraded and as a last step, a reboot is required. So let's do that now, click close and reboot the system. And after the reboot, go back into Update Manager. And in my case, there are new packages available yet again. Just keep installing them until you get a check that the system is up to date. Note that under the edit menu in the toolbar, the option that was there before to upgrade is now gone. According to the new features website that we studied before, once there is a new version available, it will show up here ready for the next upgrade. So once again, the process should be exactly the same as demonstrated today at a future date. The system info now reads Linux Mint 22.2 with Cinnamon version 6.4.8 and the Linux kernel is at version 6.8.0-79. And you have now successfully upgraded Linux Mint Xia to Linux Mint Zewa. If you have created a snapshot and now after a few days of using Linux Mint 22.2, you are happy and sure you no longer need it, you can delete the snapshot. When you are sure that the existing Linux Mint 22.1 system is fully updated, but the option to upgrade to 22.2 does not become available, check out the package named mint-upgrade-info. Open a terminal and type sudo apt list mint-upgrade-info. To see the existing installed version, assuming the package is actually installed. The version should be 1.2.9 or higher. To upgrade this package to the latest version, type sudo apt install mint-upgrade-info. In this case, I am already on the newest version, but this is something to check if you are fully updated, but the upgrade option doesn't become available. And as a last tip, you can get the release info as well from the terminal with the command cat forward slash ATC forward slash OS dash release. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time. Bye.